Here's a loblolly pine, Pinus tata, a native to the southeastern U.S. And so planted here in Tennessee, you would expect it to do well, and it really does. It's got to be one of the fastest growing species you can plant here. Here's a new leader. This is new growth from here up to here, and I'm only in the middle of May, so focus. There you go. So uh, just starting the growing season and it's already put on a foot of growth. And believe it or not, I've averaged four feet of growth per year on this species. So it's not a bush though. I mean, if you're expecting this to be a hedge or a screen, loblolly pine is not what you want. It's a straight up tree used in forestry actually for paper and wood products. You can see here it had some tip dieback. Let me show you this. So notice that my main leader there, I don't know if that's a uh, tip light or some kind of moth or something that bored into there, but the story with the labelle is no matter what happens to it, it just keeps growing. That's the solution to all problems, is to continue growing. <clears throat> so you see it's sent up four new leaders, and I went ahead and cut off three of them just because I don't want four leaders, I want one leader. So I picked the biggest one, left it, and here's a side branch. Once again, putting on a lot of growth. Let me step back so you can see. This will be the first growing season I've had it in the ground and I have it propped up to keep the wind from swinging it back and forth, but that really becomes unnecessary after the first growing season. Let's look at more. Another loblolly right here, and this one probably has a foot and a half of growth since the growing season started. All this is new, and again, I'm only in mid-May, so it'll keep growing all summer from what I've seen, which is amazing. That's how it gets to have an average annual growth of four feet. Okay, here are some much larger lavallies. Sorry, there was a plane going over there. Here's some much larger lavallies, and I planted these. I guess at this point it must have been five years ago, four or five years ago, and they were small like the other ones that I showed you, but they've put on so much growth it's actually hard to even show you how big they are. I would estimate they're at least 30 feet, maybe 35 feet tall. So uh, just to show you, this is not a live life, it's a um, Lebanese cedar, by the way doing well, putting on new growth. Anyway, Labali, just to show you, this is an actual tree. This is not a bush. This is not, it's actually not even really good at screening because you can see it kind of hollows out under the bottom and it'll do a little bit of self pruning where the uh, lower branches will die. Now, Labali holds its lower branches better than a lot of other plantation trees, but that only goes so far, and once these get shaded out, the bottom branches will die off, and you'll just have a massive trunk here. But as far as creating a background or adding height to the landscape, Labali is probably one of the best evergreens you could plant in Tennessee. More close up of the Labali, and I'll show you this type of needle rust that it gets. not sure the name of it and I didn't even bother to figure out what it is because it seems to be a total non-issue. It gets on the needles in the spring and then maybe a few of the inside needles die but it doesn't affect the overall growth of the tree obviously because they're growing like crazy so I'm not concerned about any pests with loblolly pines and they would be drought tolerant, they're tolerant of wet conditions they need some full sun, they have these amazing long needles, and they're actually kind of fragrant sometimes too, so if you like the smell of pine, again, Labali is the way to go. I wouldn't consider planting any other pine, except maybe for Vanderwolf Pyramid, for like a smaller pine. But if you're looking for a big pine tree, Labali is a species you want. You can get them online. I ordered some from uh, Target, actually. Target sells them online. That's the best source, which I think is supplied by National Plant Network.